To illustrate the opening opposition's case, I'm going to bring some in wise Indonesian words. Jaka sembung bawa golok, banyak bumbu. There's nothing related from their case, right? Because I don't really understand how they really correlate. All they bring is about the idea of effort. All they bring is that they are not currently happy right now, and we all need to be happy, right? I don't think they capture the nuances of how emotions and uh, negative vibes are not something extraordinary, right? They're actually something very ordinary, yeah. and they're actually emotions that are very complex, yeah. right? On our side of the house. Instagram poets can exist, right? But the problem with the overemphasis is that you expect everyone, not only Instagram poets, but everyone in your life to have that positive vibe, right? This is exactly the problem we're talking about, right? Exactly when you want to talk about effort, but you expect everyone to have that effort in order to always be positive, that is the problem that we see in our current society, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to respond to the majority of the case of the opening opposition, and I'll later tell you on, on why exactly in the world we have right now is entirely fine for you to have negative vibes. Let's respond, right? The first thing that they want to say, the first thing that they want to say is that people are unhappy. People cannot be happy right now, and we therefore need to give them a way to be happy, right? Number one, I don't think that that is the case. I think that happiness is inherently achievable by individually and is achievable now, right? If the whole world is unhappy, who is giving the positive vibe on your side of the house? That cannot, that's not clear, right? So there has to be an internal motivation to become happy, right? But the second question right now is that even if you want to make people happy on the other side of the house, let's look at the type of happiness that you're giving on your side of the house, right? Because on your side of the house, the, your way to deal with any complex emotion, right? Whether that be grief from losing a big final, which I hope I don't have to face later on, or whether or not it'd be because you regret so many things that happened during your college career, right? We think that it cannot be solved with a simple Instagram post, right? These are very complex emotions. Even if there is some alleviance of your emotions, it is a very temporary thing, right? You see it for one minute, you are happy for five minutes, and then the next few moments, you're going to be sad, right? Number one is just simply because these posts are not a long-term thing, right? But number two is that because sad things happen at any time, right? You can start your day super happy, but by the end of the day, be super depressed, right? These are the types of emotions we're talking about, and we don't think that positive vibes, ooh, ooh is going to solve all of those problems, right? So, the, the, the last thing, the second thing we need to talk about is that uh, the question they want to say is that uh, they need the community to become more positive. They need to motivate people to become more positive, right? But that assumes that everyone wants to be sad. No one wants to be sad, right? No one wants to be depressed, right? Everyone has that motivation to become happy, right? So understand that people want to become happy out of their own choice. How do we prefer to become happy on our side of the house, right? Rather than completely shutting off any of their bad emotions and assuming that, oh, I am happy right now, I'm instantly happy, what we much more prefer for them to do is to actually process the things that have happened to them, right? Why do those things happen to you, right? Understand why those things happen to you, right? And they're, therefore, you are able to then have a better understanding of your emotions, right? Why? And that becomes better later on, right? Because in later on in life, when you experience the similar <coughs> things or even worse things, right? Because you have had an understanding of the previous events in life, you are then better able to process the future things, right? So things that made you sad in the past no longer make you sad in the future, right? But on your side of the house, if your, solve, if your solution is only some quotes from like Ruby Kaur or something, right? I don't necessarily think that if you face the same thing in, uh, later on in life, you are still going to face the same problems over and over again, and therefore you are not getting a sustainable solution to your happiness, right? right? The last question will then later be on whether or not our community should be positive before I continue on this. Um, how is understanding your issue possible when you're overclouded by negative emotion? Um, right, so negative emotions, like we say, right? On your side of the house, you like to believe that positive vibes are a constant. They should always be positive, right? Judah already clearly stated out that emotions are never a constant, right? Hey. That emotions can always change, right? So understanding that case, if you are experiencing negative emotions, then understanding does not have to happen in an instant, right? We never said that had to, had to happen, right? But exactly the process of you growing through understanding those emotions is what makes you grow as a person, right? Even if, as an individual, you are not capable, right? But because there is that internal motivation to become happy, what is most likely to happen is that you are going to go and try to find help, right? You're going to try to understand. You're going to read articles about why am I experiencing what I'm experiencing, right? You go to support groups on Reddit or in life, for example, telling other people about how you failed, about how you lost your child, right? And those are the kinds of things that happen on our side of the house. That is the process that we are much more willing to go through rather than simply shutting it off away and saying, I'm fine. We don't think that that's the solution that we want in our life, right? So now let's continue on. Let's, uh, let's continue on to 
the, 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 the extension of our case, right? So uh, we told you that we wanted personal growth, right? We told you that, that, that in, in, in life you need to experience things and you need to have better things, right? Because we, told, because we think that it is very natural to happen to understand that emotions, not only are they not constant, but there are also a lot of combination, right? Because happiness is not often happiness, right? There's a lot of happy sad in our life, right? Anger is not usually a, an absolute emotion, right? There's anger and disgust. I learned, this from, I learned this from inside out, right? So what this means is that usually any happiness that you feel on our side of the house will actually be enhanced, right? Exactly because you're experiencing these sad emotions before that, you are then able to better feel the happiness that comes afterward. Right? Because you are then able to understand that you lost that job, but the happiness of finding a new job that fulfills you has much more impact on you as an individual compared to on your side of the house. Right? We think spreading a positive vibes is also very harmful for another reason. Right? Because in a community in which everything is going wrong, we don't think that's good and it's very toxic to spread positive vibes all the time. Right? Why is that so? Because number one is that when you think that positive vibes are your only goal, you are more, like, you are more than likely to cut off people who you think are negative vibes. You shame people who you think, you bring negative vibes to my life. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that is exactly the harm that we see, right? Because you think that people who are, this is also what happens to a lot of mental health issues, right? People with mental health issues, right? They are cut off from their friend's life because my life needs to be positive. You are ruining my zen and I do not want you in my life anymore, right? That is exactly the problem that we see in our current society, right? But also secondly, we think exactly in a world where you're supposed to care about a lot of issues, you are told to be cut off from those emotions, right? Look at the recent, for example, Twitter feed during the protests in Jakarta, right? A lot of people are like, I choose not to look on my timeline because I do not want my positive vibes to be ruined, right? We think spreading a positive vibes means that it's not only a few individuals who do that, but a lot of individuals are choosing to cut off themselves from the problems of the world because they believe that only their happiness matters the most, right? But does your happiness matter the most if the world is suffering? We don't think that that should be something that you should, that, that, that should be important, right? So we think that in, in a world where the climate is destroyed, where people are fighting against political, uh, p political atrocities, right? We don't think it's good for you to simply cut off everything that is negative vibes and say, I do not want negative vibes, right? You think it's not good for you to spread positive vibes when at the same time you choose to cut off people who are trying to process their emotions and trying to process their life, right? That's why we think on our side of the house, it's much more better, right? We told you on an individual level, you grow as an individual, right? You grow as a person and understand that emotions are not something, ex negative vibes are not something extraordinary. They are something completely ordinary. It's it's okay to be sad, it's okay to not be fine. On a community level, we told you that communities fight for more things, right? And you are able to garner more support when you have this anger because you also get other people to become angry and be willing to take that negative vibe for you, right? We told you how you're able to change the world, not only with positive emotions, but rather with negative emotions, right? When you're unhappy with the world, when you're unhappy with yourself, that is when you see the most change in the world and that's when you see the most change in yourself, right? For a better future, for a better life, and for a better you, we're more than happy to propose.